hello guys welcome to my this video and in this javascript tutorial i will show you how we can sum or minus with object property value so that means guys here just i will give you the brief idea i mean what i am trying to show here that is first of all i will create an object so the variable first of all i have to be right so the variable name i will write objects objs okay but variable name you can write as per your choice okay anything you can write and now in this ob obj is variable here i will create an object so if you don't know guys how to create object just using a curly braces so this is now object so the curly braces is the syntax of object so now this variable is a object if you write here like a string so now it would be a string variable okay but if you write here this square bracket so that means the variable would be array but when i have written here this curly basis so that means the this variable is an object and now in this object object and array these are the like a container like guys if you don't know the object array concept so just here i will give you the brief idea like if it would be a normal string variable like a okay so in this string variable just i can store a one value like this okay but guys if it would be a array like suppose if it would be a array a is a array variable so here i can store multiple variable using comma separator and the same way if it would be a object so that time we can store the multiple variable using a comma separator that i will show so array and object is an container okay so now our main motive is to sum object property value okay so now guys here in this object top here i will create a property so now first that one is called property so i have written a and now a is the property and when i will write colon any value so that will be the property value so that means 2 is the value of a okay and now i will add another property b and i will write colon and b value is four so now i have two object property a and b and a value is two and the b value is four so now i think it's a clear how we define an object okay so now guys i have so uh, i will show that is how we can sum or minus object property value like here i will show you how to sum so now here the object property value is 2 and 4 so that means if i sum object property value so that means 2 plus 4 will be the output 6 like this so now i will show how you can do that so first of all here i will write a variable that's called sum you can write any name of this variable so why i have assigned here 0 because guys in this sum variable after adding i mean first of all i will write a condition or anything for adding this two value because without we cannot get this value okay so that's why i have to be write a condition or anything that i will show you in the next and after that when i will get the add summation value so that i will store in this sum variable so that's why before that i assign here zero so i assign a number because we know when we add minus multiply so that should be a number we cannot add a string value like if i would pass here the string value like a and b so that time a plus b it's a impossible if i would uh, write the a plus b here i will show you suppose if i write a plus b so the output would be a b like this so it's a impossible to plus when we plus minus so that time it should be a number so that's why for when i will store the output so that will be the number also so that's why sum here i have defined a number value that is zero initial value zero okay and now guys here i will write a for in loop so for let i in and which one i want to use for in loop in this object so this object so this is the syntax of writing a for 
in loop so first of all for parenthesis then i we are to write a variable name so i have written the variable name i but instead of i you can write anything as per your choice okay but i have written the variable name is that is i okay so now i in obj is so what is the use of in so in means in inside this that is in inside this i it will be stored objects all the property a b now here is the object two property a and b so that means a and b will be stored inside this i variable whatever you will write here so inside that variable it will be stored this object property name so let's check it first of all so now in the here i will write console.log and i and now say and just i will refresh so you can see i'm getting a and b two property a and b you can see here these are the two properties suppose if i write here the another property that is c so c is 6 so here you will get three property now a b c like this way so for in loop use for getting object property name so now here i'm getting object property name so our main motive is for adding the property value so here in this i variable i'm getting all the object property name so now here i have to be write a condition the condition will be if and uh, like here this o b j s okay o b j s that means this so o b j s dot has own property okay o w n own property parenthesis so has own property here o will be capital and p will be capital has own property i so that means guys i will define okay so first of all in this uh, i will just print it into a console what it will be the output then it will be more clear okay so first of all i will just remove this console okay and i will remove i mean comment this one so let's just here i will write console.log and here i will print obj dot has own property this i mean first of all i will show you the use of has own property method so save and deface so you can see it's showing the output is true and that is three three is true so obj is has own property so in this i variable i already had shown that is in this i variable i am getting all the property name okay using for in loop so that means in this i variable i am getting all the property name so here i have written that is obj dot has property so this method just just uh, checking that this i in this i variable i am storing this obj uh, property so it's checking it in this i variable he this obj's own property or not so it's checking so i am getting true but if in this i variable if i would store that is different of like here if i define another object that is called uh, new objs okay and here if i define any value like h and one comma j two and if i would write this for loop i mean in this i variable if i would store this new obj's property that means in this i variable now it will be stored h and j so that means this i variables property is not the owner of this object because objects property is a b c so in this i variable now i have stored h and j so it's it will not be matched so let's check it so you will get it's a false you can see it's a false so that is the use of has own property i hope it's clear now so i will remove this one and here i will write this one
okay so now i have written a condition that is if it's a own property so that time i just i will add a class so how i can do that so now here i will write like this sum because our class i mean the output i will store in this sum variable so sum equals to sum plus this i okay so guys here i have written sum equals to uh, not a sum here i will write obj's okay obj's and array i so this one like this way i will write that means guys sum first of all the sum is zero and this obj is i means uh, now it will be just return the position the position of array value i mean object value so here i'm just this obj's i'm creating it's now array because i have written this square bracket and i already had shown the square bracket is the syntax of array so when i'm using the square bracket i'm um, and inside this square bracket when i'm writing here the i so that means i will get the value of this object because in this i i'm getting object property and when i'm creating this one as a array so that means that object property which i'm getting in this i variable so that's value now i will get that is the main trick here okay so now here i have written sum plus obj's j so how it will work that i will just explain first of all sum is zero so that means zero plus a two so plus 2 so that it will be 2 so sum equals to it will be first of all 2 okay so after that the i because now in i am first of all in this here in this after written this foreign loop i am getting object property name but when i am creating this one as an array so that time i will get that property which i am getting in this i variable using foreign loop so that's property value i will get so now first of all uh, a property a properties value is 2 i will get so 0 plus 2 is the 2 after that 2 plus 4 like 2 plus 4 it will be 6 so then, then sum will be 6 okay like 6 plus 6 and mean this value so it will be 12 so that means sum output will be 12 so this way it will be work so save and now refresh okay so and now i will just print our this variable where i store the output so save and refresh so you can see i'm getting the output is 12 okay, okay. i hope it's clear and this one i will just print outside this for loop okay so now you will find i'm getting the output is 12 okay so here this way i'm getting the output of object property value sum and now guys here i have written sum equals to sum plus obj's i so for uh, here you can write like this way otherwise we don't need to write sum plus obj's we just can write here like plus and equals to so the previous one and now this line is the same meaning okay so save and you will find the same output here so this way we can do that so i hope guys you can understand if you not so you can write in comment i can try to solve your doubt and if you find this video is helpful so guys please subscribe my channel press the notification bell icon and also don't forget to like this video